Man! I am Burke. Burke and his bitch. Yeah, man. Man, I miss doing this YouTube thing, man. I'm, I'm finally glad I'm back. I got my computer back. I got my internet kind of sort of back. I got like a lot of shit back, man. Um, I'm kind of pissed that I had to do this whole two-year hiatus thing. I I'm fucking pissed. But uh, before I get into that, uh, the game I'm playing right now is, uh, well, it should be self-explanatory. It's the Alien vs. Predator beat em up game. The one that Capcom made. Yeah, before Capcom became a bunch of douchebags. Uh... To be honest, in my opinion, this is like the best Alien vs. Predator game, to be honest. I mean, every every other one of them are like, either decent to play, or like, they they suck ass. But, uh, in my opinion, this is like the best Alien vs. Predator game. <laughs> but, uh, anyway. Like I said, I'm back. Uh, like talk about a few things about what I'm about to do and shit like that. Um, excuse sucky gameplay. But uh, anyway, um, before I get into all that, I'd like to tell you why I was in this two-year hiatus. Um, for one, I'm in. I was in school. I'm gonna try to keep this quick and simple. I was in school. Um. I'm studying for graphic design, so eventually I can get um, a degree to make my own video game and to also do like some graphic artist shit. But uh, anyway, um, that is almost out the way as of now. But in this far, in this certain standing, but uh, that was one of the reasons I had to stop. Well. I had to stop. I mean, everybody that had been subscribed to my channel for a while, they kind of noticed that I've been posting like less and less. Or I will post like a bunch of videos in one quadrant and then I'll be gone for like about a couple of weeks. But uh, anyway, uh, school isn't out the way completely, but it's whatever. Uh, Secondly, uh, financial issues came up. I'm not going to go into too much detail other than I had to get rid of the internet. <laughs> Which, for a graphic artist student, is fucking bad. <laughs> Very bad. Most of the pictures and stuff that I have to do on Photoshop and everything like that man that's that's like a whole lifeline and then to make things worse I had like two computers and one of them got water damage and the other one that I'm on right now had a virus on it when I downloaded GGPO I tried to down I downloaded it and once it got installed on my computer I all of a sudden got this stupid Trojan virus shit uh, Shit was sucked, dude. Uh, I had no computer, which made it even worse as a graphic artist student to have no computer and no internet. The struggle was fucking real, dude. The struggle was real. Um, after that, I tried to get the computer fixed. I mean, the one that got water damage in my MacBook, so that I can't fix that. That that it's fucked. <laughs> uh. This one, however, when my mom bought it, she took it to, uh, she bought it from Best Buy, and they had that Geek Squad shit, which Geek Squad is horrible. So, I found somebody that was going to willing to fix it, however, uh, she didn't want me to do it because... Um, she would think that that would screw up the warranty since they have to, like, go inside the computer and shit like that, but anyway, uh, told her it'd be fun, and she was like, oh, no, 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 and it's, I'm not gonna do that and stuff like that, so, uh, 
after that it's been a while like my computer wasn't doing nothing it was just sitting there with a virus on it it couldn't do nothing every time i opened a program or a file it would just delete and i was definitely pissed because i had my the music i made on there i had all the files and all the videos that i had prepared and one day went to a friend's house and his uh his brother-in-law knows stuff about fixing repairing computers all this dude did, did was put a program in there and got the virus out i'm like dude really that's all it took he didn't have to open the computer up or anything and shit like that all he did was just put like a, a program in it let it fuck the virus up and ass and then it's just bam no more virus i was i wish i would have knew this dude sooner so now all my files are safe uh i don't have to delete any music files the only thing that got kind of sort of damaged was like uh, my moogan shit but it's all right uh so i'll probably explain what i'm gonna do moogan wise but um so here i am i'm back uh a few things have changed um now a business owner and I'm a graphic artist officially so outside of that let's get on the business what I'm gonna do with the channel as you know I'm gonna post like I normally do I'm gonna just do Mugen I'm gonna do uh, Yu-Gi-Oh I'm gonna do uh, the shunt video and rants here and there so uh, I guess I should start with Mugen since this is like primarily the thing on this channel so, uh, moving wise, I have to remake everything, which means I have to remake a whole team and whatever, but for now, you're not going to see Mugen shit for a bit, only because I need to, uh, I need to figure out what came out in the last two years of Mugen. What has changed? in the last two years of Mugen. I've been out the game for like two years. I need to know what came out, what characters have been updated. As far as to my knowledge, the only character I know that came out was like the the Vegeta character that uh, Hongdu made. It was like the SJ or some shit like that. The little, the, the legit looking one. Not the little crappy sprite from like some Game Boy Advance game looking one. <laughs> but anyway, um That's as far as my moving goes. I'm just gonna have to figure out what I missed for the last two years. I need to reset up everything. I still know how to configure everything, but um I was gonna actually keep this a secret at the time. But since two years has passed, uh, I can't no longer really keep it a secret. Um, I was actually working on a character. And the files got damaged to that. So I have to start from scratch. And at first, I didn't believe people when they were talking about sprite editing. Sprite editing is a bitch. Like... I'm, I choreographed every single sprite that I needed to I needed to fix, I needed to remake. I choreographed everything. And by the time the virus got on my computer, I was not halfway done. And I was working on this shit for a month and a half. I was so fucking pissed. But uh anyway. I'm glad I mean you know what? At the same time, I'm a little glad. Because now, since I know how to actually... Since my drawings became ten times better than they were two years ago. Since I know everything about animation and sprite animations and stuff like that. Since I know more knowledge of it, I can restart and try to make things simple. Try to make like a simple character... And then work my way up to having them all beefed up and shit. But you know, I'm, I'm at this. I'm kind of glad in a way because I can start from scratch. I can learn how to 
uh, learn how to do his moveset and everything, you know, try to make something simple and then try to graduate up to like Raja's level or some shit like that. But anyway, man, I'm, I'm, I'm you know what? It, in a way, it's a good lesson. In order to learn, you have to sacrifice shit, and apparently I have to sacrifice a month and a half of sprite editing work that is never going to see the day of light. <laughs> but it's whatever. Learn from, yeah, everybody gotta learn from mistakes. So, that's it about Mugen for now. Um, like I said, not gonna see some for a bit, because I gotta redo everything. So anyway, um, to my Yu-Gi-Oh! video. There is one thing I have been doing in this, in this last two years since I have no internet. So, uh, it forced me to play the Yu-Gi-Oh! game in real life, which I was not planning on doing, but I played Yu-Gi-Oh! in real life. Enjoyed it, actually. Money was a pain in the was a pain in the ass, but I guess being a budget player isn't all too bad. I mean, not until the meta kicks you in the ass. <laughs> uh, meta game is fucking stupid, and I probably will make a rant on how I felt about the meta within like the last two years, because it was, it was cool at first, until... This pendulum shit came out, and don't get me wrong, I love the pendulum mechanic. The pendulum mechanic is pretty good. It's just the decks that came out in Duelist Alliance just changed. Yu-Gi-Oh was never the same after that set came out. <laughs> Stellar Knights, Shadows, Yang Zings, uh. Yeah, Necross that late that came in like the later sets. That fucked the meta in the ass badly. And it was like That that screwed the game up completely. It really did. It screwed up the game to a point where it was just if you weren't playing those decks, you were more likely not gonna win. Like everything about gimmick that Yu-Gi-Oh had just went straight out the window. Like, it used to be just, oh, find some cards that can that can synchronize with each other and you have a decent gimmick and you have a possibility of winning because nobody either don't know how to stop it or nobody's not really familiar with how to how this deck actually works. And then the creativity part comes in at the same time. However, now it's just, oh, Burning Abyss, Burning Abyss, Necross, Shadows, or Stellar Knights, or get the fuck out. That's pretty much how it went. <laughs> but, um, I'ma still do, because of that, I decided to go to different card games. I, I went to Magic, I went to Pokemon, and now Yu-Gi-Oh is no longer my main game, it's my secondary. My main game now is Car Fight Vanguard, which I will eventually do a channel on that, but that's for future references. But anyway, uh, Car Fight Vanguard is now my main car game, <laughs> which is good. I like it. I played Yu-Gi-Oh for like over play Yu-Gi-Oh since like forever dude and out of that whole time I played Yu-Gi-Oh. I only played Vanguard for about like a, a like at least a year. I had more fun in Vanguard than I ever did in Yu-Gi-Oh. Even in the good days of Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Which is fucking weird. This whatever. Um just know that I'll be doing some Yu-Gi-Oh Pro videos. Uh my Road to Shump series, I'm still doing that. I probably gotta like learn how to play Shumps again because again in this two year hiatus I've barely played games at all. <laughs> it's just been straight up school, work, and Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> or school, work, and card games. But uh, 
yeah. Just my sharp videos, I'm just gonna continue doing it. I'm not gonna do it as often as I was. I'm probably gonna do it like every probably gonna do more video editing. Like I've I've watched how Markiplier does his uh Five Night at Freddy videos and I noticed that I don't have to like completely show every single thing that I do in the game, so I know if I fuck up, I can just video edit to make the videos a lot shorter. So that's a good thing. So I'm glad I kind of learned some video techniques just from looking at another YouTuber when I had a chance. So uh, those are what else do I have to talk about? Let me see the Mugen, the Road to Shumps, the Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, my rant videos. Uh, nothing's really going to change. I'm gonna still do rants. I think the only difference is I'm probably going to be ranting more about Yu-Gi-Oh than anything. Well, not really, but it's whatever. Cause I, I feel that uh, I feel that most of my rant should go to like serious shit, but at the same time, I know for a fact that I do want to rant about anime, want to rant about uh, shit that happened in different card games and stuff like that, and discussions and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's you know, it's technically whatever at this point. I mean, still pissed at Capcom. Konami fucking up. Not not in not in Yu-Gi-Oh terms, but just in terms in general. They they, they fucking up, dude. <laughs> a lot of actually a lot of game companies are fucking up. Like I am not liking the road that video games is going to right now. Like when I when I was think when I was thinking about change in video games, I was not expecting video games to change like this. It's it's ridiculous. <laughs> Like, it's got up to a point where everything's an open world game, and the open world games aren't even that fucking good, to be honest. Every open world game at this point has just taken shit from Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> and then, uh, it's the same thing with, like, everything else, like... The fighting game community's actually gotten better. Like, I'm actually... I'm actually pissed that I didn't get a chance to play, like, any of the new Blaze Blue games. And I'm pissed that I barely got a chance to play the new Guilty Gear. Um... Street Fighter Five. I'm not even looking forward to that shit. That shit's worth it. I'm, I'm done with Street Fighter. I mean, I like Street Fighter. It's still my, one of my favorite fighters, but... Uh, competitively, I'm done with Street Fighter. <laughs> My competitiveness is just going straight up to, like, Skullgirls, Blaze Blue, Guilty Gear, and possibly Arcana Heart. <laughs> those, those are where my competitive skills are going to, are going to go to. Uh, I hated Mortal Kombat 9. I'm actually interested in Mortal Kombat X, though. They actually done ten times better than what they did in 9. But, uh, you know what? That that can be saved for another rant. So, uh, that's just my whole update. I'm glad I'm back. Um, everybody who's, you know, stuck to staying subscribed to my channel, I'm not dead. I'm, nothing's done. I had a hiatus. I had a, you know, I had a wall that I had to break down, and I finally broke it down. But, uh, anyway, you know, I'm, I'm glad I'm back. Uh, anybody who stayed subscribed to my channel, you know, thank you. Even though I haven't posted anything in like two whole years, but, you know, um, hope this channel grows well, hope everybody's doing well. So, uh, for now, this is this TV Kona to sign it out.